be on. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, there it is. Yeah, there you go. Whoop, there it is. There you go. Oh, my God. Why so, am I seeing my face? Yeah, you got to see yourself, man. You're on, you're on camera. I hate it. Uh, what's up? No, I don't know. So, wait. So, uh, are people just milling? Are we literally just doing this for a computer screen? Oh, no, we're live. Live where? Just on Twitch. On Twitch? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I told you. <laughs> That's what I. And there, and there's and the TV out there too. They can see us talking. Gotcha. There. Yeah. Gotcha. I, I told you we were live on Twitch, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I missed it. I'm yeah. an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Buddy. So, uh, right here. Hi guys. Xander Mobus. Hi. Voice of the announcer. Voice of the announcer. Master hand. Master hand. Crazy hand. Crazy hand. Joker. Joker. That's it for Smash, at least. Uh, is Master Core still around? Because I did a voice for him too, but that I don't even know if they actually used it. Th oh, not in not in the Switch version. I know in the Wii U and 3DS. Uh, yes. yes, the good old Wii U. So you've been the voice of well, at least well, the announcer and everything else for since Brawl. No, no, or, no, no, or no, just, no. Or just N64, baby, that was me. Yeah, I what? did that when I was nine. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I took over on the uh, Wii U and 3DS. You did? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. A guy named Pat Cashman did him in Brawl. In Brawl, okay. And I think he had, because they, uh, when I got cast, they wanted an impression of him, which oh, I couldn't do, so I'm not okay. sure why they went with me. Uh, but uh, they, I guess he had like a prior theater commitment or something, it sounded like. Oh, okay. But it sounded like he couldn't come back, which like he did an amazing job. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and because he kind of set that high bar, I assumed like when I got the audition, I was like, there's no way I'm no going to, you know. Get it. And then sure enough. And then it happened by some miracle. Wow. So. Well, that's cool. I mean, hey, yeah. you've been doing it for, again, at least... Two Smash two or I guess technically three now with three DS. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, or did they use like the same recording and everything? Same recording for both. Okay. Yeah. So for two games, uh, and I, I honestly couldn't be more thrilled. Like the All fact right. that they brought me back was, they didn't have to, and they did, and it was amazing. So you did the TV commercials leading up to the release of Smash as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I do know the I, settle it and Smash. Yes. So. Yeah. I know. Um, oh my gosh. What, I want to say it was the VG, the VGAs or. Um, uh, by Jeff Knightley, the video game video game awards. Yes. In, so yes, yes, yes. I think I just burped into the mic. Sorry, <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> so what? Uh, a lot of people were like, they at first they, they were like, wait, is this just a normal Smash commercial? And they're like, oh, only three minutes until the release of Smash. And everyone yeah. was like, yo, that's the announcer. It's Smash is about to get released. And then. They showed the Joker trailer for Smash. Yeah. Now, yeah. was that the first time you got to see that trailer as well? That was or? the first time, yeah. We okay. recorded that a little while beforehand. Goodness. Uh, and we actually didn't know if we were going to be at the VGAs or not. So we did okay. two versions, one for just like a generic sort of release it online. Okay. And then one where it's like, this is Joker. I've infiltrated the video game awards. Very uh, nice. Whatever okay. the line was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. It like, was fun. Yeah, I it was can, awesome. I, I can tell you right now. Um, I don't know if you've seen reaction videos on YouTube and everything like that. Have I you? haven't. You I haven't. haven't. No. So there are so many people that had no idea it was going to be Joker. Yeah. Like to the point of like they're just watching it and they're like, why is it showing Persona? Like, yeah. But I, I, like, are there a new Persona? It's like Persona 5, like, you know, I mean, now there's the Royal and everything like yeah, that coming yeah, out. Yeah, for sure. That was announced. But everyone's like, oh, man. Persona 5. All right, this is different. What's what's going on? And then it shows, you know, Joke kind of infiltrating and everything. And then they're like, it shows the card. And then, the and card then it comes flips. Up. Yeah. And everyone was like, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Joker's in Smash. <laughs> like, like, that was the, I'll tell you what. I was pretty excited myself. I'm not going to lie because that's oh, not what I was expecting. I was yeah. just like, oh, man, I, what is going on? I, I so. did not expect it either. That was, that was a nice surprise. Yeah. I mean, it was a nice surprise for us. Yeah. I mean. Now they just need to put yeah. the rest of my guys in there. Well, I mean. It's a start. They've I mean. done enough fire them, guys. Let's get Arvis in there. <laughs> it's about time. I mean, what what other, I guess I should ask, what other video games? I know oh you've, boy. well, you do, if I remember correctly, you also do Abigail and Street Abigail Fighter 5, from right? Street Fighter. That's yep. right. So you did you did Abigail and Street Fighter 5, and I'm just, I'm blanking on other, I know there's uh, another game. I did well. uh, Grow from Soul Calibur. That's right. Okay. Uh, he was fun. I did. Oh God, I have the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> uh, I've done a bunch of Fire Emblem stuff. Uh, not Three Houses. Not Three I Houses. I yeah. wish. If uh, only. But yeah, hey. I've done a lot of Fire Emblem Black Heroes. Eagles? Black Eagles. Oh yeah. No, we stand yeah. our empress. There you go. There we go. Uh, 
So, yeah, we did, uh, yeah, I've done a bunch of that stuff. Uh, I was in the Spyro Reignited trilogy, which was awesome. You were, Who are you in that game? I'm a bunch of folks. Just, I'm just, yeah, I'm okay. scattered around all three games. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, that's awesome. I've done... So they did. That means they did all new voice work for the Reunited trilogy. Then. Yeah, they brought okay. they brought some of the old cast back. Okay. Uh, they brought back Tom Kenny as uh, Spyro. Right. Okay. I and then a lot it. of it, though. It was funny because I'm pretty sure some of the guys, because they they would play a, a a clip of what the guys looked like mm -hmm. from the old games. So we kind of because we didn't have art assets yet. Oh, okay. So they wanted us to have a feel for what kind of the vibe they were going for was. And they didn't want like impressions of that, but they did want you Sim know a like similar something feeling. Similar? Okay. Yeah, something okay. that like if you had played the game before, even though it was new and looked a lot shinier and okay. much prettier, it still felt sort of the same. Ah. Okay. Uh, and yeah, so for that, uh, it was funny because I'm pretty sure a couple of the guys who they played as like this is your character in this village or whatever. Mm -hmm. This is what he looked like in the old game. This is what, like they played it, and I was like. That guy's in this game. I'm pretty sure. Why? Why didn't you just get him back? I don't know. But uh, it was fun. It I was really fun. You know, I'm not. I always find it interesting whenever, mm -hmm. like, when they do remakes, remasters, and things like that. Yeah. Like sometimes a lot of people like they really like the original characters. Yeah, yeah. And so I can tell you, like, I mean, myself and a lot of other people, they were really excited to know that. Oh, hey, Sanders doing Joker and Smash also. Yeah. And it was and awesome. the and it's to us it, as like you know as consumers, I guess you could say. Yeah, um, I'll use consumers, I guess. Like for example, uh, Troy Baker, yeah, voice of tons of people mm -hmm. in uh, Tales of Vesperia. Yeah, he's voice of Yuri Lowenthal. Yuri Low. Oh, my, Yuri Low. Oh gosh, Yuri I'm Lowe. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew that one. Oh, I'm sorry, Yuri Low. I'm Lowe. sorry, but in the remaster, when they added all the extra scenes and stuff, they had yeah. someone else do it. Yeah, and and, that, and so and to us, it's like, oh, why? And the thing is, sometimes that stuff gets complicated, mm -hmm. and it can be hard to work out. Yeah, uh, just either schedules don't work, or um, you know, d different stuff. Yeah, uh, can come up, and that that sucks when it happens because I know for everyone involved, they want to keep the integrity of the project yeah. alive. So. Yeah, it, it's it's kind of funny because like. A lot of it, you're like, okay, like, okay, this is original. This is from the original game, and then you're yeah. like, oh, this extra scene, this sounds kind of weird, and like, uh, people are like, wait a second, where's, why is, why is the Troy Baker back? What's and and on? the thing is, like, generally with those kinds of things, it's no one's fault. Everyone tried their best, and it just, it just didn't work out. Yeah. And it sucks, but it's just kind of the realities of the business, you know. So, you know, granted, I mean, as, as far as I can tell. There's not going to be another Smash for some time because they're doing another Fighter's Pass. Right. Uh, this, so, obviously, I'm not going to ask you anything because that's... I appreciate it. You can't, you can't talk can't, about anything yeah. like that. I'm, I can't say right. um, poopy. But you get to, like, whenever... Okay, I'll just use Banjo as an example because he's yeah. out already. Um, does it take long for you to do, like... You just do whatever the announcer says for that. I mean, because no. there's not that much as far as that goes. Right? Yeah, no, and we're we're pretty comfortable with it at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it, it, what tends to happen is when you first begin a project, especially a big project, right. they want to be very precious about it. They want to make sure it's right. But once you get a workflow and once everyone is comfortable with each other, and we kind of know what the direction is and all that kind of stuff you get into a flow of it. Okay. So, like, for the first game, we were very particular about absolutely everything. We wanted everything to be right. In this game, since, and I don't want to sound like I'm tooting my own horn, but I, I feel like we did a good job, at least on our end. I like, mean, we, we think so. At yeah. least on our end, we felt like we had kind of that, that flow going. We were in the zone. Yeah. So when we picked it back up, when we started, there was that preciousness, but pretty soon we were back into it, and we were like, all right, we can just... We can just do this. Gotcha. Um, Did you have to do it, like redo any of your lines from the Wii U version going over to Switch, uh, or or is it just kind of like it all dependent I, on the character? I honestly don't know. Uh, I I know we did re-record some of it, but mm -hmm. whether or not they actually used that, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. I think they had it for safety, but uh, you know, I I think it's one of those if it's not broke, don't fix it things. At least right. on my end, I would think so. Like, I'm happy to come in and do, like, pickups in case you need them. But right. If we got it on the first game, it's, it's, it's never nice. fun to, like, ruin the magic and then have fans come back and be like, well, why wasn't it like this when last time it yeah. was like this? Do, do you ever get uh, fans uh, that come to you, like, 
and they say, oh, hey, can you say this particular line? And then oh, you yeah. say it, and then they're like, that's not how you say it. And then, like, they just look at you <laughs> like, like, what do you mean? What, that, that's not how you say game or You know what's like crazy that. is that I think the fans know it so much better than we do. <laughs> Because, and like it really, like, uh, and I hate to say it because, like, it, it is a job that meant a lot to me, mm -hmm. but like, when you're in it, you're not thinking of the minutiae of it the same way, okay. if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. It's like the difference between uh, riding in the passenger seat on a car ride somewhere and being in the driver's seat. Okay. If you're in the driver's seat, you know, you're going to have a fundamentally different experience than the guy in the passenger seat. Right? Right, that make, makes sense. So for me, I remember, like, the notes that we got, I remember like, okay, we gotta bring this sort of flavor to this sort of thing. But how that actually came out of my voice, like, but you're not like thinking about it in that like, in that sense, sort of way. Right. Yeah. So people will be like, say Luigi, like you say it in the game, and I'll say it, and they'll be like, that's not, that's not how you say it no. in the game. And I'm like, I was can, it not? Right. A lot of because a lot of people are like, because I mean, I'm gonna do a horrible impression, but they're like, oh Luigi, and everyone's like. That's the sickest thing. Like, the, I don't. There's something about when Luigi is said, and uh, oh, the different. Uh, I want to say tones of Roy, because there's Roy, oh, yeah. of course, the Koopa Junior, and then yeah, Roy yeah. from Fire Emblem, and then Roy. It was like boy. Roy, Roy, and everyone's like, wait a minute. Yeah, I I think we again. What my mindset going in, and I think the guys. I burped again on your stream. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I think the guys from Nintendo, they were very similar. It was like, hey, we uh, we uh, we want to find what is kind of the, the nugget of this character. What's the little bit of their personality mm -hmm. or what's the, the thing about them that we want to try and convey with the announcement? Yeah. So that you as a player, because it's all about kind of feeding you information, right? Right. And that's one thing, like, uh, with fighting games that a lot of people don't realize is... Uh, when you're doing voices for fighting games, a lot of the time they want everyone to feel equally as good as an option. So, like, if I come in and I, I'm doing a character, I'm, they're like, he's, he's kind of like, his character's a little, like, scared and fright, like he's kind of a coward or yeah. whatever. You still can't come in and be like, oh, man, I don't want it. Because then people aren't going to feel good playing that right, character. Right. So you want to find that nugget of their character that's, like, fun and unique and gets you hyped to play them and then you try to bring that to it. Sometimes it comes across exactly the way you want. Sometimes it comes across not as well. Sometimes it's just there's only so many ways to say a word. But that's that's kind of the, the, the methodology we went with. Okay. Okay. Well, let me ask this. Uh, how much time do we have, actually? It's 5.23. Uh, I got to be out of here by uh, I got to be at my thing at 6. So six. probably like just 5, five minutes, minutes okay. works. Well, let's Unless you're sick of me, in which case I can bounce right no, now. No, no. I mean, I'm... I'm not. Oh, well, if they are. If I, they are. I don't want to overstay my welcome. No, nah, you're fine. Um, let me see if I, I want to see if there are any questions on here. Uh, let's go. Word, Zando. Word. T I'll tell him to subscribe. Anyway, no, you can ignore him. He's from, oh, okay. He, he, does, he doesn't count. He doesn't okay. Count. Yeah. No, um, honestly, oh, I guess there was one question that, was that someone asked to ask you if we sure. did get you on here. Um, given the chance, you know, uh, if there's another Smash or anything uh -huh. like that, or another Persona 5, mm -hmm. I mean, if you had the opportunity, would you continue to voice that character as long oh, as they yeah. have you? Oh, yeah. I'll keep doing this till I'm dead if I can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I love both jobs. They're both very near and dear to my heart. So, I guess I should ask this. I mean, how is, I mean, this is something I just thought of here, like, the experience in terms of like, because I know in the when you're doing the let's play, like you were just like, oh, it's for real. I'm voice Joker's gonna be in Smash. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. yeah. Um, Which that was was that really, how much that was a that big was, surprise to you? No, that uh, that panel uh -huh. that was awful to try and like play the game <laughs> and answer questions. and answer questions. <laughs> I was like, I can't yeah, do what? Oh shit, hang on. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, your thing's cool too. Uh, what was that? Sorry. <laughs> I was oh man oh man I'm sure it was stressful but I mean we we had a fun time we were I know a lot of people that were there were really happy that you guys were like playing the game and trying to talk to everybody. I, I like mean that. as so long we, as they were happy that was yeah. just yeah that no, was I, crazy. I'm, I'm sure that was, was I've unique. never tried to do that before. It was it was unique I know I'm sure, but uh, oh my gosh you made, you made me lose much. Oh yeah there you go yeah what's up? Um, your experience in terms of when you're in the studio doing like your announcer voices mm -hmm. versus when you had to actually voice an actual character. Right. Like 
what were like big differences in terms of like your process for everything? I mean, I don't think there's. It, here's not, the thing not really. about. Well, here's the thing about voiceover is that yeah. you don't really get a process, really a process. So, to, uh, so to speak. You don't get a script until you're. Well, sometimes you do, but uh, yeah, you generally don't get much prep time or anything. So it's not this. You know, I lived as a as a phantom thief for five months to get into this role. <laughs> you know, you can't, no you can't do any of that. Yeah. Uh, and that's actually, I'm going to get kind of pretentious here for a second, but that's okay. why, like, training is so important, like getting experience mm -hmm. and understanding. It. So you can go in and you don't need to go through that lengthy process. You can be in it as soon as you get there. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I guess as far as process, it's Not really process, but years and years of doing stuff. Yeah. So I know how to build a character gotcha. and okay. get into it right well, away cool. when That's I get there. Well, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. No, that yeah. Sounds, that was terribly. No, uh, it's. <laughs> that was such an actory fucking answer. <laughs> that was that's, such like, that's. yes, my children, let me tell you about the process <laughs> and the skill tree. <laughs> skill tree? That's not a fucking word. I mean. Xander's tired. Yeah. Okay. They're fine. Well, um, that's kind of everything I had as far as that goes. There was something I did want to give you. Let me step over here real quick. Right, right. Oh, boy. Nothing bad. I, hopefully it's not bad. He just handed, or it looks like he's about to hand I'm me his pretty dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of scared. No, so uh, this is a drawing that of you. Uh, that is his penis. Crazy. That is actually his penis. <laughs> wow. Anyway, we're going to. Congratulations. Gonna, we're going to flip this over. <laughs> this is for a local artist, uh, Ori Watts. Uh, okay. He, we wanted to kind of give you this as a thank you for kind of hanging out with us. Oh, well, thank you and so much. He got the fact bit. that I wear button-ups. <laughs> he also, he made me, like, fucking, like, he gave me a jawline. That's very <laughs> nice of him. Like, yeah. I don't have that in real life. Artistic <laughs> license. See, there you go. There you go. You got the approval, Ori. Yeah, thank you yeah. so much. I really do appreciate of it. Of course. Well, right. um, I, know, I know you have to go to your signing. So yes. So thank you so much for thank being for on the stream. And yeah, of course. Appreciate it. Thank and you. Hopefully, hopefully you come again. Hopefully. We'll yeah. And maybe absolutely. have more time and yeah, maybe. less Less, uh, Less craziness. Craziness, yes. All right. Well, thank All you right. so much, dude. Oh. Thank you guys so much. I have you, uh, hope you have a fun time uh, and with whatever this madness is. <laughs> and you can follow Xander on Twitter as it at Xander Mobus V. I believe it's just at Xander Mobus VO. VO. Yeah, I think. Okay. It might be VA. I don't know. V -O. Either way, follow him. He I has don't run my own social media. That's not true. I do. Black, Black uh, Eagles. It's always interesting. Black Eagles. <laughs> fly, Black Eagles, fly. All right.